Welcome back to Crossroads, a weekly community affairs program. I'm giggling because I'm giddy and I'm delighted that we have Super R&B Group, Minnesota's own mint condition in the studio with us this morning. We've got Stokely, Jeffrey, and Odell. Thank you guys for being with us. Thanks for having us. Seventh album, mm -hmm. E-Life. That's right, that's right. I've been listening to it all the way here this morning, and it is a wonderful compilation of musicianship. Right. Oh, I'm talking you. about the instruments, the singing, the writing, the arranging. What was the inspiration behind this piece? Uh, life. You know, it was uh, in the electronic world that we live in, you know, with uh, texting, you know, emailing, you know, information, you know, we're just having all these relationships in the information age, you know, mm -hmm. basically is what the uh, title came from mm -hmm. you know we have some songs that are geared towards that but mostly this is the way we approach the album so we call it e-life which is the electronic world you know where we <coughs> emailed tracks back and forth we sat up sometimes in the one room and played as well mm -hmm. but you know sometimes it'd be a bass line come through the the line i'd sing on it and send it back just to see how it works right. you know? so a lot of people are doing music like that these days you know and how has music changed jeff since you guys started performing um i think Things like the internet have helped uh, have helped music. Uh, it's it's changed quite a bit since we've started. Mm -hmm. um, we have more access to groups and musicians than we've ever had before, mm -hmm. like we were discussing mm -hmm. earlier. So. And you know, I really appreciate the fact that you guys play real instruments. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen you perform live. I really enjoy when you go down south. Uh, yeah. and do New Orleans and Houston mm -hmm. and that kind of thing which is where I saw you guys first and it's like oh somebody's playing a guitar and a <laughs> piano and there's some drums on the stage <laughs> right. it's real music and you don't see that a lot of times how hard is it to put that together these days um, I think for well it's, it's not as hard as what people think I think um, it's the people at the labels you know it's not they don't think it's as cost-effective is putting a track show together for one person, mm -hmm. you know, which it may not be, but you get more bang for your buck out of a band because it's nothing like live energy. You know, actually mm -hmm. seeing people up there, you know, playing and, you know, uh, just having that, that real live energy, you know. And you guys, Odell, have fans who have been with you since album one. And they're going to be rushing to the stores, you know, to get this new E-Life album. What does it mean to you guys to have those loyal fans who, who've got all seven albums at the house already? Oh, wow. It's, it means everything. They're the reason why we're here right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, without them, it wouldn't be us right now. You know? How have you guys been able to maintain, you know, when you guys came out, there was Shy and a whole bunch of other groups who were doing music and singing and playing the instruments and writing their own stuff. And a lot of those groups have gone by the wayside. But you guys are still going strong. How were you able to, to maintain all these years? The music is, has been the primary focus in the fact that we do have a band. A lot of times, you know, you know singers have to hire a band. Mm -hmm. So we, we're, being that we're self-contained, you know, in that we've written and produced our uh, music from day one. And uh, that's really everything self-contained. You know, people have to always shell out money to get mm -hmm. musicians. Oh, I can't mm -hmm. get this person together. So we've always been. We have our own little home studios and everything. So. It's been really, in that case, it's been a blessing. And Jeff, we were talking earlier during the break about the fact that there's not, not a lot of music in schools. Like when we were coming up, you picked an instrument and you played it. You played music in church. You learned to sing in church, play the piano. Mm -hmm. But it seems like, especially in communities of color, we're getting away from that. Music programs are being cut. How is that affecting us? Uh, it's affecting it. Um, I think that's where, where things like technology, there's a downside. You know, you've got, there's so much access to information now that the kids aren't necessarily going to church anymore. There's other things on their plate now. Uh, and then you have, like you, we, we were uh, talking about earlier, music in schools getting cut, cut out. And uh, there's some kind of way we have to bridge that. We have to get back to that and, uh, and, and get back to kids playing some instruments yeah, just the and, basic and then, stuff yeah. like we used to do. Yeah. yeah. Now you guys, we were talking about. I got. They got to tell y'all this story. We were talking about Soul Train, <laughs> and you guys were also. I'm, I'm a Soul Train junkie. Yeah. I used to want to be the Chinese girl <laughs> with the long hair. <laughs> you guys were on Soul Train, and you got to tell me the story about you meeting Don Cornelius. Oh, oh Don man. was very, very cool. <laughs> 
put the long microphone on. <laughs> pencil microphone. No, nah, it was really, you know, we were, I was kind of starstruck. I was like, that's him. Like, it's Don Cornelius. Right, he, was, he was very cool. And uh, real, uh, real generous. Uh, that's real respectful. And just, I mean, we just great meeting him. And, uh, yeah, we were just kind of, I was kind of starstruck. I don't get too starstruck, but uh -huh. it was like, that was the guy, man. One okay. of the funniest so stories you know. that we did when we went there is um, we did the award show, and he didn't really know the band that well, uh -huh. all the members. So after we just came off the stage, <laughs> we was going to the back, you know, to the green room, and he grabbed one of the guys and said, where are you going? No, <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius, this is own security. Yeah. It's own security. I like that. Like, you don't belong back here. So. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, and it was so, it was funny. Oh, but, okay, yeah. see, I'm gonna have to turn into a groupie and start going on the road with these guys because y'all oh, sound like y'all have too much fun. It, it is, oh, it's yeah. Be, yeah, pretty fun. Yeah. Now we gotta get back to the album. What can people expect? Are they hearing the new mint condition? Is it back to old basics? What, what what's the mix on this it's, album? It's like? both and. It's it's all the above. We uh just continuing yes, our. You know, it's a continuation of what we've always done, you know, just bringing real music, but uh, we've always uh, fused that with, uh, you know, kind of keeping our ear to the ground, you know, on the current scene that's going on. So, But we always keep our integrity with live instrumentation, and, you know, we always, um, you know, dealing a little, little bit with the computer, so we're just kind of fusing all those things together and see how it comes out. We like to see our music is like gumbo. We mix it all up. See, don't so, say gumbo. There you go. You can't find you a bowl of gumbo in mm -hmm. Minnesota right now. Uh-oh. Nope. Uh oh. So your music is really like a mix. Mm hmm Yeah. We always consider it like gumbo. We put everything in there, you know, I mean we've got all these different styles and uh it's just it's gumbo. Man, don't we don't talk about gumbo, cause I'm up in Minnesota. You can't get a good bowl of gumbo no, anywhere. No, I just no, don't no. even say that. You know, the south, and I've been looking since I got here and can't real, find it. Yeah, with the with some some cornbread Ooh. and some. See, I'm gonna go on the road with y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, y'all gonna be like, is she behind us again? The I'm cool, behind the yeah. tour bus. The cool thing about the road is people always want to feed you, especially down south. Oh yeah, you need some. You look skinny. Yeah, I was gonna say, Jim, look like he ain't eating this week. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You can play the sandwich or something. That's right. He's my mom right. throws down. Oh, boy. So, you know, I got uh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's my mom's a cook. She'd be like, come on over oh, yeah. here, baby. Come on and get oh, some yeah. of this. That's so right. how's the hometown love in Minnesota? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, really? and it's, it's funny, the more we go on, uh, we have these, these new fans, these people that discover us. They're like, where you guys been? You know, here the whole time. You know? Really? They think right. we live somewhere else, but we still live here. Right. Really? And it's, uh, it's, it's great. Minnesota's a great place to be. I mean, especially for what we do. We can mm -hmm. go and... We work everywhere else, but you know it's it's a good balance here for us. You know? mm -hmm. And yeah. and your family, your mom and dad yeah. and well, sisters yeah. and brothers must be yeah. really proud of yeah. Oh, yeah, the definitely. the good work that you guys are doing. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we've been blessed. We've been blessed. We're blessed. Okay, so we got the album E Life. Are you guys doing anything else? What's coming up next? You're going on the road. You're going on tour. You yes. you got any movies coming out? With anybody acting? On let's see, well May 9th, uh, May sixth is E Life. Mm -hmm. May 9th we play at uh, Trocadale's here in town, in the Twin Cities. Um, we've got a lot of stuff. We'll be over in the UK, uh, maybe Japan. over in Switzerland, Japan. Uh, yeah, a bunch of different places, you know, around here in the, domestically as well. So we're just wow. getting around, getting you'll the word out. Essence again. So. Oh, you'll be yes. yeah, yeah. Oh, Don't okay. Know, well, I'll yeah. be there. I'm gonna have to oh, drive yeah. this time because the effort is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah. I'll see you there. You guys put okay. on a wonderful show, and thank, thank you, you so much for being here. Thanks for it's having me. It's a really. pleasure yeah, to absolutely. have you guys here. And you guys stick around. Don't go anywhere. More on Crossroads is next. Stay with us. You are on my line.